personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, for my for my, for my fans of the low weight class, we got some news, man. We got some we got some Ken Shiro news. You know, I know we got a lot of Ken Shiro fans here on the channel. Shout out to Ken Shiro, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the sport right now. I don't care if you don't know who he is or his opponents. If you don't know Ken Shiro, you don't know shit about boxing, and that's facts. Now, listen, man. Ken Shiro, WBC champion. We know that um, he was being lined up to fight WBO flyweight champion, um, the best Puerto Rican champion in boxing. Might, might be the only Puerto Rican male champion in boxing. I'm pretty sure, unless they got one like, like 105. Somebody let me know. But um, Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez, you know, on a hot streak right now. Can't lose no fights these days. Uh, you know, they are exploring a unification fight for April of this year. They're saying it's nearing, uh, it's going to happen soon. They're, they're going to finalize it soon. So it's great news, man. And, I, and unlike these other weight classes like 47 and, you know, 35, you know, the diva divisions, we, we, we can actually, you know, inhale and exhale and breathe comfortably knowing that these these killers in the lower weight classes that got to fight because the money ain't what it is at the high weight classes that it'll more likely get done. So let's talk about it, man. Now, Ken Shiro is coming off that dominant schooling of Hirota Kayaguchi where he beat the brakes off Hirota Kayaguchi and took his O in just devastating sensation or virtuoso fashion. Um, Jonathan Gonzalez, you know, is coming off of a fight where, you know, he defended his WBO belt for the second time against Shokichi Iwata in a 12-round, in a, uh, uh, you know, UD. You know what I'm saying? But now... Um, and I want I want to give a shout out to my man Punch Perfect Boxing. Shout out to the man, the main man, Fifty Grand across the pond, Jamie Bourne. You guys know him. You know one of the best in the biz. Um, I don't I don't say that about many people. There's only a handful of people I'll say that about in boxing, but he's he's one of them. Jamie Jamie reported on his channel. He's like he's like the uh, authority, like literally the authority for some of these lower weight classes because he got he got connections one way or the other. I don't know who he got, but God bless him. Uh, he reported that. You know, um, Hecky Butler, who had worked his way back into a mandatory position um, for the WBC, was Ken Shiro's mandatory challenger. Um, had they not, they had he, uh, Ken Shiro had to fight him next because he just fought in a vacation fight. And uh, in lieu of that, in in in, in wake of all that, uh, punch uh, punch perfect boxing. Jamie had reported that Hecky Butler has taken an undisclosed amount of step aside money he gonna like scoot over to the side and let the two champions get it on so shout out to butler you know good fighter um he'll get a shot at some point but um yeah that's what it is so i like the fight you know i think obviously it's an interesting fight because you know it's a south paul orthodox matchup you got jonathan bomo gonzalez who we know is a very very uh slick technical boxer you know at light flyweight i don't think he's ever lost a fight i believe he's undefeated at light flyweight being some good fighters, you know, um, counter punches very well, um, boxes very well, on the, um, just being patient. A uh, hard guy to hit cleanly. Um, I thought Southpaw stance, you know, so not an easy guy to look good against and then a hard guy to beat at this weight. Then we look at Ken Shiro. I mean, oh my God, what what is this guy not showing us? I mean, guy got knocked out by Masamichi Yabuki or lost fight to Masamichi Yabuki, came back, stopped his ass in devastating fashion to, to become champion. Then off the strength of that, Fought um, a guy that I rate highly in Hiroto Kayaguchi and beat the living brakes off him, beat the dog shit out of him, and and and, and uh, really showed that not only is he a good fighter, not only is he great, is he a great fighter, but he's a guy that fight by fight, moment by moment, is proving himself to not just be one of the best fighters in this division, but to be pound for pound one of the top ten best fighters in the world. And anybody who disagrees with what I'm saying, you just haven't watched Ken Shiro. You haven't you haven't taken the time. To, to witness the greatness of Ken Shiro. So um, I love this fight. We need this fight in boxing. We need top guys to be fighting each other because we know we're not going to get it in other weight classes. So we might as well get it in the lower weight class where we get value for money. You know, where we get where we get our bang for our buck. You know, we never get disappointed because these guys always come to scrap. They always come to fight. They always come to to, to, to give the fans a great show. And, uh, I, and I have no doubt in my mind this fight gets done. And I have no doubt in my mind that um, Ken Shiro and Jonathan Gonzalez put on a great fight for the fans. 
And um, yeah, that's what it is. So uh, that, that's the news. Uh, Ken Shiro, Jonathan Bomo Gonzalez, you know, in play for April. Hecky Butler has stepped aside. Um, you know, and that's what it is. My man Jamie from uh, Punch Perfect Boxing letting you guys know the deal. So shout out to him. Shout out to Jay Donovan for, 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 for citing him in the article. That's always cool to see a fellow uh, YouTuber in the in the in the boxing scene articles. You know, I was in a boxing scene article recently um, by Phil Hergovich. So that was pretty cool too. But anyway, I digress. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Who do you got if the fight happens? Uh, Ken Shiro or Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez. So uh, yeah, we, the, the road to seeing who the best is at 108 pounds continues as this fight gets closer and closer towards finalization. So uh, yeah, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.